Hello, and welcome back to O Worth Coins channel. Today, we have something special for all you coin enthusiasts out there. We're going to take a closer look at the 2010 penny coin, discussing its historical significance and its current value in the collector's market. So if you've ever wondered about that seemingly humble penny in your pocket, stick around because we've got some fascinating information to share. Let's start with a brief history of the 2010 penny. In 2010, the United States Mint released this coin as part of the presidency series of the Lincoln Cent, which celebrated the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. The 2010 penny features a distinctive design, which portrays a young Abraham Lincoln reading a book while sitting on a log. This design is particularly notable because it's a departure from the typical Lincoln Cent designs. Now, let's dive into the specifics of the 2010 penny. It's composed of copper-plated zinc, which gives it a characteristic reddish, brown appearance. The coin has a diameter of 19.5 mm, making it the same size as other U, pennies. On the obverse side, you'll find the familiar image of Abraham Lincoln, and on the reverse side, the Union Shield. Many people wonder if their 2010 pennies have any significant collector's value. While most 2010 pennies in circulation are worth face value, there are some exceptions. Coins that are in mint condition, meaning they haven't been circulated and show no signs of wear, can be more valuable to collectors. Look for 2010 pennies with sharp details, no scratches, and a bright, shiny finish. Another interesting aspect to consider is the existence of certain varieties or errors in the 2010 penny series. For instance, some collectors hunt for double D varieties, where the design appears slightly doubled due to a minting error. These can fetch a higher premium among collectors. Now, let's talk about the current market value of the 2010 penny. Keep in mind that the value can vary depending on factors such as condition, rarity, and collector demand. While most circulated 2010 pennies are still worth just one cent, uncirculated or rare varieties can sell for more. It's always a good idea to consult a coin expert or use online resources to get an accurate estimate of your coin's value. The one penny coin is currently the lowest circulating denomination of the British decimal, pound sterling, after the half penny was demonetized in 1984. One penny equals one. One penny equals one. In August 2005, the Royal Mint launched a competition to find new reverse designs for all circulating coins apart from the Pest Who coin. The winner, announced in April 2008, was Matthew Dent, whose designs were gradually introduced into the circulating British coinage from mid-2008. In a world first concept, the designs for the Unep, Toop, 5-Pep, 10-P, 20-type and 5th-type coins depict sections of the royal shield that form the whole shield when placed together. The shield in its entirety was featured on the Sone coin, now discontinued. The new 1-EP coin design, which replaced the earlier 1-EP design by Christopher Ironside, depicts the left section between the first and third quarter of the shield, representing England and Northern Ireland. The coin's obverse remains largely unchanged but the beading, the ring of dots around the coin's circumference, which no longer features on the coin's reverse, has also been removed from the obverse. One penny and two pence coins are legal tender, only up to the sum of 20. This means that it is permissible to refuse payment of sums greater than this amount in wump and tube coins in order to settle a debt. And there you have it, folks. The 2010 penny, though seemingly ordinary, has a unique place in numismatic history. Whether you're a serious coin collector or simply curious about the value of that loose change in your piggy bank, the 2010 penny is worth a second look. Remember, the joy of coin collecting isn't just about the value. It's also about the stories and history behind each coin. Thanks for joining us today on WeWorth Coin Channeling. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin related content. Until next time, happy collecting. Be sure to personalize this script with your channel name 
and feel free to add any additional information or anecdotes about the 2010 penny coin that you find interesting or relevant.